Hello everyone, my name is Miss Alyssa and I'm here with this month's Step in Esteem. Step in Esteem are short videos for children 2 to 6 and their adults that focus on short and simple projects dealing with science, technology, engineering, art, and math. This month we're going to be focusing on counting and we're going to be using nature to help us out. So I'm going to get started with a book called 100 Bugs, a counting book. This was written by Kate Narita. It was illustrated by Suzanne Kaufman, and it is going to be read with the kind permission of Macmillan Publishing Group. Explorers, explorers, rising with the sun, hat on the creaky door, pack on the shiny floor, it's time for some bug counting fun. Walking sticks, walking sticks, hiding all about. One by the old house, nine by the gold rose. How many bugs hiding about? Nine plus one equals ten. Dragonflies, dragonflies, zipping all about. Two by the weather vane, eight by the bug vane. How many bugs zipping about? Eight plus two is ten. Leaf hoppers, leaf hoppers, hopping all about. Three by the farrow, seven by the yarrow. How many bugs hopping about? Seven plus three is ten. Ladybugs, ladybugs, zooming all about. Four by the rafters, six by the asters. How many bugs zooming about? Six plus four is ten. Bumblebees, bumblebees, buzzing all about. Five by the horse feed, five by the sneeze weed. How many bugs buzzing about? Ten. Five plus five is ten. How many bugs out and about? Fifty bugs hanging out. That's a lot of bugs. Butterflies, butterflies, flitting all about. Six by the rain boot, four by the snake root. How many bugs flitting about? Six plus four is ten. Dra damselflies, damselflies, darting all about. Seven by the wishing well, three by the coral bells. How many bugs darting about? Seven plus three is ten. Spittlebugs, spittlebugs, jumping all about. Eight by the chicken cage, two by the woodland sage. How many bugs jumping about? Ten. Katie dids, Katie dids, singing all about. Nine by the wood box, one by the white fox. How many bugs singing about? Nine plus one is ten. Lightning bugs, lightning bugs, flying all about. Ten by the happy boy, zero by the autumn joy. How many bugs flying about? Ten plus zero is ten. So that's a lot of counting. And I did a lot of addition, but we don't need to always add. We can just count them up. When reading a book like this, if you go through each page, sometimes you can just take the time to count the bugs that you see. And that's what we'll be doing when using, doing our project today. In the description of this video, you will find a link to a PDF. And on that PDF will be more information about how to do this project. And it also includes books and more information to read and continue with the subject of counting and learning. In our project today, we're going to be using a box I use a piece of paper in this instance, but you can use a big box that you flatten down and separate into four squares or quadrants. This is a great way to help kids understand what different numbers mean by seeing them visually. So here we have 20 different natural items, leaves, rocks, clovers, flowers, but it can be easier to understand what 20 looks like when we find 
one, two, three, four, five leaves, or one, two, three, four, five rocks, one, two, three, four, five clover, one, two, three, four, five flowers. Suddenly it becomes a little bit easier to know what 20 looks like. In our project, we're actually trying to count to 100. If you find 25 of each item, then you will reach 100. It can make counting large numbers a lot easier for kids when they can actually see what they're counting. This excellent project was found on the Busy Toddlers blog, and you can go there to find a lot more really fun and creative ways to learn for preschoolers. Another project that we can do with all of these items we found is use them to make art. I'm going to read the book Anywhere Artist by Nikki Slade Robinson, and it is going to be read with the kind permission of Hoffman Mifflin Harcourt. I am an anywhere artist. I don't need paint or paper. I can make art anywhere. My imagination is all I need. I am a forest artist. I find fluffy lichen, twisted sticks, and smooth stones. I pick up lacy leaf skeletons. I can make anything I want. What did she make? Is it a creature? I am a beach artist. I collect salty shells. I shape sand. I spread curly seaweed out. I use driftwood, making it stand tall to cast fingered shadows over my art. I am a rain artist. My feet dance ringlet patterns in the puddles. I squish oozy mud into silly shapes. I am a sky artist. I lie in the grass and make art inside my head. The clouds are my paints. My imagination is my brush. Sometimes my art fills the whole sky. I can make art anywhere. I can make art with anything. I bet you can too. So what will you make today? So once you've collected all of your items and done lots of counting fun, as high as you want to go or as much as you can fit on each of your squares, you can use those items and try to make a piece of art. If you make something really cool that you would love to share, please email us at our email, kids at lcplin.org. We'd love to hear from you. I hope that you have enjoyed this project, and see you next time. Bye!